Mystic Heroes. Invigorating action that combines hand-to-hand -hand and magical combat. <gasps> now coming to the PlayStation 2. Eradicate the enemy forces. A variety of magic attacks at your disposal. Double the number of playable characters. Multiplay action brings you four-player co-op and versus modes. Follow orders and accomplish tasks to clear the newly added mission mode. Can you handle the heat? Mystic Heroes for the PlayStation 2. Okay, hello everyone. We are back. We are two days in, so meaning that uh, we can pretty much go straight through for a bit more, which is good, because um, I, I'm i enjoying this event, but I also want to grind out some of the better nodes, and I missed last time because I went to the gym. I was getting big. It was, it was growing huge. Uh, so for now, let's do a major counterattack by the Imperial Army. Well, I, I mean, no, I should do this first. Might as well. Might as well get this out of the way. I've already started doing it. Might as well keep up the tradition. Why would I change now? Um, let's see here. I'm just trying to think if this is, do I want green or blue? Probably blue. Okay. Um, and where's my team that I've been using for this? Because I can bring in you. You all aren't great for this. Um... Yeah, Probably my best bet is to just do, just switch you all in, all right? Maybe you're not the best for this, but you, you, you can do it, and that's the important thing. So, uh, sure, let's let's do this. What are what are we, what are we doing? What are we fighting? Escorting a VIP. What the heck is a VIP? This is new lore that I need to learn. Do I need to go to the Nasuverse wiki and make a page for what a VIP is? That's the funniest thing. When you when you go onto like certain franchises with insanely strong um hired assassin worker. Get this over with charge gain. Oh boy. Oh, that's not great. Um, that's really not great for what we want to do. Okay. Um like I was saying, though, I love when you have certain franchises where it's like you have wikis that are extremely specific for like what what they have on it. Um, like, you know, when when wikis have like pages for like death where it's like, yeah, you know, that concept that exists everywhere, you know, um, should we what should we do here? I'm going to make you invincible then, because then you can attack next turn. Um, okay. But for now, I think if we do this, there is a chance we can go one, two, three. We'll kill you with the first hit and then move on. Hope, unless the stun procs immediately and on her, in which case that's not good. Let's see. I'm not sure how this is going to go. If it just, if this doesn't kill, it might be better. It didn't. Okay. Yeah, we're good. So now we can do this. Now, you're stunned. Who are you hitting with this? Which one? Okay. Sure. That's fine. Actually, this is very good, because now we can simply... Shrimply that pop this pop this i lost the defense buff should have done the other way that's fine okay there we here we go it's, you know what it was a little scary at first but we're good now okay that did like no damage to artoria also Target focus, yeah, versus whom? Yeah, I think we'll target you, buddy. All right. Good. Come on, let's get that 20% crit. Nope. 
Okay. He does, he is doing some pretty decent damage, all things considered. I think not a ton, but a bit. Um, let's do this. Nice crit. We'll win next turn, if not this one. Probably next one. Ah, oh, next one there, yeah. All right. I do think he could probably use an animation update. It's pretty basic for what it is. I mean, I know that's the point, but I do think they could do some more stuff. I know efficiency is all his whole shtick, but you know, I feel like he'd get a few more things in there. He got a whole dang character to base it on, you know? All right. Thank you. And that's just for a, just for a lore, huh? That's a pretty easy lore to get, I feel. You know? I feel like lures are, are one of the toughest items to get. They're usually locked behind the toughest challenges, but that one was like kind of a middling little battle and we ended up getting it. This is not a complaint. This is merely an observation. In a hundred. Yes, we're not getting that this time. Anyways, story time. Let's go. I actually had a friend message me today. He's like, I want you to be honest with me. Does China just sound like that? And I'm like, yeah. No, it just does. Like, no lies. Imperial Army Camp. Whoa. Lady Hu Yanzhou. Lord Huang Fei Hu. And that's Qin Liang Yu, the female general who cracked down mercilessly on bandits. And that's... Tai Gong Wang, the legendary tactician. Yeah, it's like, well, that was the weirdest. What, did you see that? What was up with that? What was that? Strange. Weird little pop-up. Um, this is a, this is a crazy, crazy grouping. So, yeah. I think this, this can, this can work pretty good. Here are our formations. Qin Liang Yu, you'll lead the left wing. Huang Fei Hu, You'll lead the right. Yes, my lady. You got it. And Lord Taigong Wang, you'll be overseeing our tactical operations. I trust there are no objections. Then let us begin our third assault on Mount, Mount Liang. All units advance. Yeah, I mean, this is pretty straightforward combat thus far. Just the fact that we're also, you know, on both sides. We're under attack! Again! <laughs> so those villainy scoundrels have yet to learn their lesson, have they? Very well, then. I, Don Quixote de la Mancha, shall tear them to shreds and use those shreds as confetti. Um, I'm getting a bad feeling about this, sir. Especially after what I'm seeing in the advance party. R really? What do you think, Lady Bonica? Lady Zenobia? Mm, looks like commanders have changed. Oh, wait, there's also more of them. This is very bad. This army is far more formidable than it was yesterday. It shouldn't be possible to make so many soldiers this much stronger overnight. Must mean their commanders are. What's wrong, Robin Hood? I've got some bad news. More servants have joined the Imperial Army. Servants? I think the first one is Ching Yang Yu. It looks like the second is Tai Gong Wang. You mean the real one? Or at least that's what the Imperial soldiers are saying. If that's true, that's very bad indeed. Oh man, Tagong Wong! For the time being, let's see how far we can get in battle. After all, this is Mount Liang, the end of the line for outlaws on the run. Even if we wanted to flee, there's nowhere to go. You heard him, leader. We'll just have to do up the best we can. Mount Mount Liang to battle! Y yeah! Oh, I'm confident that I can beat myself up. Everyone else, though, that's maybe not so much the case. Hagong Wong, that's a, again, he's a, he's a grand caster candidate. Like, that's a, ooh, mighty roll there. Assassin? That's not something that's too tough, tough to deal with. We got this. But give me more battles of just a singular, you know, enemy type. I'll take it. Whoa. 
Keep firing. Don't worry about running out of arrows. Keep that archer pinned in place. Uh, get off my case. Come on. Somebody else shoot, shoot him back already. We can't. We're not nearly as good as you. As soon as we stick our heads out, they'll be filled with arrows. Oh, right. Good point. Amakusa Shiro asks me to come here to help. Oh, it doesn't seem there is much I can do. How are things looking on the other side? Ha! Ah. Oh, oh wow, this is not a great matchup. If you thought you could surprise me with an ambush, think again. Hup. Not even a two-pronged one. Yikes. Well, I'm out of ideas. Okay, I'm getting out of here. Yes, I think you should. Psych. Whoa. Whoa, it was an afterimage. So, you dodged that as well. I can't take credit for that one. That was all our excellent master's doing. Sorry, is the little, little puppet fella just casting magic like left and right? That's what he said. I see. So they do have the pumpkin-headed version of you on their side, master. Well, this just got a whole lot more complicated. Still, I'm guessing that means the other master formed a contract with Huyan Zhou. Hmm. All right, we're still fighting. All right, then. Let's give them all we've got. Now you're talking. Hell yeah. My fists will take them down. This won't be an easy battle, but let's hang in there as best we can. Every time he speaks, I put my hand up in the same position. Every time. Something about that voice, I need to do it. And it's funny, because it's the same voice I pretty much did for, like, Nagato Komaeda, though toned back a bit from Danganronpa, and he also would put up his hand. Little did I know that that had more meaning. Um... Nobody really here to attack. You know what? I don't get to use Amoku Sashiro Tokusada very often. So why not? Hey, look! I already got the perfect team. Look at this. Right? That works out quite well. Let's go. Maybe one day I'll summon him. Today's not that day. Today's definitely not that day. I think he is up on uh, right up there. I need to hold back on my summoning now. Next big thing is seemingly, uh... Okay, interesting. Uh, the next one is going to be... Looks probably the Lost Spell, all things considered. I mean, there is a few other servants and stuff, but... I don't know, I think I'd rather wait for the actual Lost Belt, because there's a few Lost Belt servants there I really want, so... Alright. Uh, let's go one... Actually, no, let's get some big stuff with you here, yeah. Because your Noble Phantasm is mad useful. Nice. You know what? I really should get him, considering he uses Black Keys and stuff. And, like, I could get him and, like, Kire and, like, CL on a team. And that'd be really cool. But, hmm. Hmm. You know what? I might get him off some other thing later. We're all good. I don't need to worry. Is, wait, is he limited? I actually don't know if he's limited or if he's... I think he is limited. Yeah. The only reason I know he's limited it was because, um... It was when I played... When I first played the, um... The event for Apocrypha. I remember freaking out because when I read that he's a limited servant... I actually, like, this is going way back to the beginning of, like, my FGO stuff. I thought that meant that that was the only time he'll ever come back. And I was like, what do you mean? Now I know that, no, it just means, you know, you get him, you know, the one time and, and then, he, you know, it, it, it comes back, right? That's why I freaked out when he first arrived. So I'm like, oh, shoot, should I, should I try and get him? I didn't know. I'm gonna be honest, the amount of gotcha I played before this was minimal. And the ones that were, it's like... I usually didn't get deep enough into them to care about collecting any amount of them. Like, I mean, I'd want a few of them, but I didn't need to try and get them all like I kind of want to do. I mean, I'm, I'm not gonna get them all in this, but, you know, a good amount of them. I could go for them all. But, no. I don't... I do not have the, the, the financial power to do that. Nor really the mental power. I think the... If, if I ended up... It, could, could you imagine me being like, Okay, this is it. I'm going to try and summon every servant. 
and I just get to the last one and like no matter what I do, I just can't summon them. I would I would have a fit. It wouldn't be good. Alright, let's do this. Okay, you're dead. Only one more, and then we can use our noble phantasms on the last one there. Yeah, go for him. Go for him. It's very weak. Do a little bit of one each. This should win. There we go. Alright. Let's move on to uh, whatever this last one's going to be. Oh. Okay. Cool. I love not having attack up. It's great. Um, it's wonderful. I increase NP gain for an ally. Okay, so I'm just going to start with you here. Right? Let's do NP strength up. Right? So let's go... I don't think this is going to kill everyone. So let's then go... Mecha Ellie Red. Then yourself here. Okay. Do your twin arm Big Bang Cruncherino. Your Crunch Wrap Supreme. Hey, removing the buffs? That's actually really good, though. I didn't even think about that. Wow, that did kill them all. Hot dang. Nice. Does it really matter considering they are all back with... With full buffs and everything? Great. Um, well... Pop that. Go with, uh... I don't want to pop that. I want to. I want to keep their their defense up. Okay. Let's go. Let's see. Who's the toughest? You have the most HP. One, two, three. All right. Let's kill two. Remaining four. Let's hope that if this one doesn't kill the one in the back, I'm gonna be very sad. No, he's super dead. Okay. Good. Just the off chance that, like, it was just like, nah, it's not gonna actually kill. No, it did. We're good. Get. Ooh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Well. You're at least pretty decent here, and we get a bunch of stars to start, so that's not bad. That's not bad. Um. Let's get meter. Yeah, let's get big meter, because if we can try and get some more supers, that'd probably be pretty good there. Okay, 55%, not nearly as much as I would have liked. I should have started Shiro's battery there, I didn't even think about that. Let's get that going. Right, a little bit there. Um, That only works on those dudes. Okay, let's kill you. And do these here. Okay. We're good. We're good. I should have absolutely grabbed some more multi-targets. I should have thought about that because we already did a Dynasty Warriors battle at least once. So. Okay. All right. Come on. Hit, hit, hit Chiro. Hit him. Poke him. Poke him. Thank you. All right, we got this now. He's like, hey, what am I doing? Oh, no, those are assassins. Uh, whoops. Goodbye. This will finish it. Remember Jacob's limbs? What a funny skill. Pop that on more servants. I also do like how that is just one chunk of damage. You just see the nice big number up here and you know exactly how much it does. Lovely. Okay. Good stuff, team. Good stuff, good stuff. Probably gonna end up being another sailmate. Which, uh, it's fine. See how it goes. Do it twice and then on the third one, then the actual story kicks off. That's pacing, baby. Uh, oh, okay. Oh! Interesting. The battle will continue even if you lose. Okay. It was close, but we made it. 
They're certainly putting up a fearsome fight, though. Kisty comes! Oh, see, good. Now we want to use those single targets. Yo, battling in the air. Elisa the Nine Tattooed Dragon. Yan Ching. This ends here and now. However, if you surrender willingly, no more harm will come to you. Afraid we can't do that. After all, we're with Mount Liang. That's right, little Zhuo. I'm happy to be called that, but I still need you to cut it out. Please fall back, Lord Tagong Wang. Make sure Master stays safe. You got it. I'll command the army while you're otherwise occupied. What do you want to do here, Ali? Um, I mean, Nine Tattooed Dragon. I'm gonna fight Liu Zhu one-on-one. -on -one. If I can beat the snot out of her, it should turn the tide all at once. Are you sure you can do that? You do know your type matchup, right? I can, and I will. Please, Xi Jin, lend me your strength. Understood. Huh. I knew you were still here, Xi Jin. At least the Nine Tattooed Dragon. I'm gonna do whatever it takes to stop you. Death to Mount Liang. Let's fall back, Master. I think we should both stay out of this. Okay. Oh, okay. I guess we will. Here I come. Let's go! Okay, so, yeah, no wonder you can lose this battle. Uh, how the frick are you supposed to get through this? Okay. Starting member. Um, probably my best bet is, like... Honestly, if I want to be silly about it, if I want to be really silly about it, what I do is if I want to win, I pop on Necromancy, right? Yeah, one on, it's going to be a fair one-on-one -on -one fight. Yeah, totally. Here we go, Necromancy. All right, well, let's go. I don't think this is one that you're really meant to win. But maybe if we get, like, extremely lucky. Yeah, it's, that, the difference in HP is massive. Ego surfing. Bad. Oh, man. Okay. Quick and NP strength. Okay. Oh, we don't have anything defensive. One noble phantasm and we're freaking dead. Right? Gain C star gather rate. Attack up for three turns, three turns. C star gather rate for one turn. Max HP debuff resist. Okay, well let's let's do let's get some stars first. Right? We'll get some stars here. Wow, that was a rare crit. Wow. We got big crit luck. Okay, so yeah, we start off with getting some stars here. Gain C star gather rate up doesn't really matter much, but a okay, prestige star, ignore invincible. Great, that would have not even mattered much to begin with. Okay. Alright, crit strength up. Let's go. One, two, three. Okay, big damage. Let's go. Come on, let's get those crits. No, let's get those crits. No! Yeah, there's no way. Double Beyond. Quick Buster bonus effects. Okay. Alright, let's go. One. Two. Three. Give it a try. Try your best. It's gonna be mad close. Defense down's gonna be real good. Crits. Crits. Dang, dang, the RNG is not in our favor. Sensitive mentality. Sorry, was she just texting? Oh, we're so screwed now. Is that a turn of evade? Two left? We're done. No, actually, was that just her taking out a cell phone and just texting away? That's a bit strange. The only thing is, if we manage to survive via Guts, we, we might win. But it's a long shot. It's a long shot. Guts? Nope. Okay, sorry, what did you yell? What did you yell? That didn't sound like what I thought it was, was it? I sure hope the frick not. 
We're gonna check your voice clips after that because I, that's that sounded like something else to me. Got you. <laughs> Ellie, yeah, I mean, that's what I expected. Now, do you see? You can't win, so just give up and surrender. No. No, no, no. I don't want to surrender. I'll never surrender. You stubborn little... Oh, yeah, Joe, you big jerk. Big dummy. Meanie. Hi. <sighs> Hi. I hate you! Oh. Did, wow, she just spat up blood from that. Those insults must have really hit her hard. And since our general is coughing up blood, I guess this is as far as we go today. But that's alright, we were winning up till now, so we can always do so again. Sounds like you're pretty confident. <laughs> now then, who should I attempt to contact secretly once this battle is over? Hmm. Pardon me, madam. Would you accept my business card? Oh, how polite of you. I take it you're about to retreat then? That's right. We decided to call it a draw for today. Give the order to retreat. Yes, sir. All hands retreat, retreat. Bro has business cards. Did we win? No. They're only letting us go for the time being. I don't know if we'll be able to hold out the next time they attack. <laughs> I just smacked into the door. Ow. Ow. Hey, somebody help me reset these traps. I will, or rather, one of my golems will. I appreciate the thought, but these traps are kind of intricate. Can those things handle delicate operations? This is a figure of one of them painted. Or this is a figure one of them painted. Holy hell, the attention to detail is insane. You know, if there was one member of... Kaldia, who would be a massive Warhammer fan, it would be a Visabron. Yeah, no, he'd be super into that. Um, also, the fact that he probably doesn't need to shower, it's probably another reason why, right? I mean, bro is not really much human left, so. But the enemy may have retreated. Everyone was painfully aware that they had lost. And so, even as the servants of Mount Liang nursed their injured spirits. Bottoms up! They had another party. Wow, we're getting more and more. I feel like we're getting more and more stuff added each time. Should we really be doing this now? Wouldn't a post-mortem be better? We can't do that. Just look at poor Ellie. <laughs> Just ugly crying. Oh, she's actually having a tantrum. Complete with flailing on the floor and everything. I, 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 I do it and I hate her. Oh. And here I thought you were upset about losing. Who cares about losing? I feel so bad about what he said to you. There, 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 there. Later. What do you mean? Well, usually when you have a fight with a friend, you would apologize for starters, but it's also a fact that Hui and Joe's been trying to destroy Mount Liang. So I honestly don't feel like she can complain about you hating her. But I don't hate her. I like her. This is harder than I thought. Oh, I don't know. Maybe we're just overthinking this. How so? Hey, Ellie? Uh? Do you want to apologize to Huyan Zhou? Uh -huh. But you don't want to let her have Mount Liang either, right? No. -uh. Then let's start by apologizing to her. Telling, tell her you're sorry for saying you hate her. Just because you're not willing to let Mount Liang go doesn't mean you can't apologize for that. <laughs> but... Yes, I know. Huyan Zhou... Uh, little Zhou... Little Zhou is trying to destroy Mount Liang. We can't let her do that, but... There's no rule that says you have to hate her because of it. And remember... She looked pretty shocked when you told her you hate her. Which means she doesn't hate you either. <gasps> and that means you two can still make up. You do like her, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, come on. You still haven't eaten, right? Why don't you have some of the yummy food everyone made and cheer up? <gasps> okay, bye-bye. Impressive. I don't think I could have ever gotten through to her like that. 
let's just say this sort of thing lines up with my particular skills. You know, Guyan Zhou might be trying to destroy Mount Liang, but she doesn't mean Ellie any harm. I feel there may be more to this than what we're seeing right now. Now then, the fact that he gave me this card, talisman, must mean there's more going on with them than we knew about. Let's go over everything we know. Our enemy thinks that getting rid of Mount Liang will make this singularity disappear, and we think that completing it is what will make it disappear. Under most circumstances, the Imperial Army would definitely be correct. Yet, we are the ones with the list of the Nine Tattooed Dragon, which basically proves we're correct. Hmm, that's strange. Something doesn't add up. So, you noticed too, huh? Tagong Wang, is that you? Yes, it is. I see you're all alone right now. I didn't see any reason to tell the others. It would probably just make things more complicated. So, what's going on here anyway? I'm so glad you understand. As far as I can tell, the biggest problem is Mel Liang itself. If I'm not mistaken, both of the options we're choosing between would result in disaster. You mean we shouldn't destroy or complete it? That's right. If those options are off the table, what other choices do we have? Um, uh, leave it alone? Just walk away? Can we just, like, chill out? What if we just left? I mean, we can't do that, and the singularity would grow, and uh, it's part of humanity, blah, 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 right? But what if we just left? What if we just went trick-or-treating? Remember, it's a Halloween event, apparently. Right, so, like, what... What did she say? Let me check. Alright, it was your defeat. What did you say? Nope, not that one. Okay, no, it wasn't that either. Really? What, what, what did I hear? Temporary. I swore I heard something very strange. Also, interesting? Oh, oh, Onicha. Oh, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Um, was it damage? These are good noises. Okay, no, none of these. Um, yeah, no, okay. I thought she yelled hentai, which I was like, why, what? How does that, how does that relate to this? I don't like that, but maybe, maybe I heard like two voice lines combine or something. I don't know. The good news is it seemingly isn't a thing. That's good. That's the good thing. I can live happily. Anyways, major counterattack by the Imperial Army. Let's go. Let's finish this last section here for this one. What do we got? A lot of loading, apparently. You, you okay? I'm fine. I'm completely fine. Like hell you are. You're gonna bring the whole army's morale down if they see you like that. Well, give the soldiers their orders for now. You just stay here. Keep an eye on her, master. Um... I'm fine. Really. I knew this kind of thing would happen. How could it not? With me trying to destroy Mount Liang. How am I gonna go on? Oh, she's obviously not fine at all. <laughs> Felt like I don't have a good reason for this. I do! Really, really important one. Can't you tell her what it is? You have a gaius or something on you? I... I don't think my heart could handle that. The memories, they're just too painful. What about me? Can you tell me? Yes, I suppose I could tell you, Master. That should be okay. Oh, but I do have one request to make. Could you please hold on to me while I'm talking? Um, no worries about that, ma'am. I need a constant reminder that someone else is here with me or else I'll feel like I'm hopelessly alone. Anywhere except my leg is fine. I don't want you to burn yourself. Oh, wait, are you actually on fire? I thought it was, like, mystical stuff. Okay. Wait, you said anywhere? Oh, and if I could make one more request. I'd really appreciate it if you could praise me here and there. You're wonderful, Hian Zhou. <gasps> Perfect. Okay. I'll tell you. 
you can forgive me for using foul, cruel, and pathetic language. And she's just like, piss, piss, brick, heck. It's a horribly shitty story. Okay, now we're going in. Okay. Okay, but for real talk, for some reason, I, I can imagine that the, the screenshot of her saying it's a horribly shitty story, that's just like ammo for fans to throw on stuff. Wow. Yeah, wow. And there you have it. I think you should definitely tell Ellie about this. Huh? Do, do you really think I should? I'm positive you'll regret it if you don't. I don't want to. She might say she hates me again. And besides, there's a chance she might realize it herself. No way, that's never gonna happen. She's really dumb. But I don't think I could take it if the servants of Mao Liang said anything negative about me again. You're the greatest servant ever, Huyan <gasps> You have nothing to be scared of. I, I see. But I still need one more push. What e more can I even say? Speaking as an impusa, even more than Huyan Zhou, I think I'd like you to appreciate who I am on the inside. Oh. Oh. Uh, bad news, I am currently a little guy right now who mm, can't do that. Can't help you with that, I'm sorry. Oh, 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 no, you, okay, that's what you mean. So if you could say things like, you're not fragile, you're sensitive, or you're not just putting up a bold front, you have real pride, or you're not naive, you're kind and empathetic. I think those are the kinds of compliments I need to hear now. Okay, I'll give it a shot. I'm very sensitive, so if you don't praise me well, I'm gonna ball like a real baby. <laughs> now please, go ahead. Hey. Have you calmed down yet? Um, is there a reason you're crawling around convulsing on the floor? <laughs> Hello, Hong Fei Hu. Don't mind me, I've just been hearing a few too many flowery words. I think I might just be the greatest in the whole world. I literally just ran out of cobble, just me with a dictionary flipping through. It's like, your, um, face is quite, uh, Crepuscular. That's a positive one. I see. Well, as long as there's nothing wrong. So what shall we do tomorrow? You need to ask. Tomorrow we settle this once and for all. I'm going to destroy Mount Yang, And I'm going to recruit everyone there to our side. Oh, say, say what? That's right. I want it all. Shi Jin, Elisa, Yang Qing. They're all my precious allies. So I'm going to do whatever it takes to win them over, like Lord Song Zhang. <laughs> Talk about Greek. But I like it. I like it a whole lot. Right? And if we lose, then we lose. In the worst case, I'll be there to pick up the pieces. <laughs> you still don't get me, do you, Hong Fei Hu? Huh? Please don't make me think about losing before we've even begun to fight. It makes me scared of losing, which makes me constantly second-guess myself. And before I can start worrying that everything I do might make us lose so much, I pretty much basically become paralyzed. Oh, I see. Um, I'm sorry. Let's just think about winning. Just winning. <laughs> That's a spirit, Lady Huyan Zhou. You're just as great as I thought you were. I am pretty great, aren't I? Yes, you are. I was close. Thank you, Lady Ching Long Yu. Not at all. I understand how she feels. All you have to do is back her up. All right. Why don't we start by having Lord Taigong Wang come up with a plan of attack? We obviously can't afford to have things go the same tomorrow as they did today, after all. Somebody bring Lord Taigong Wang here. Yes, my lady. Taigong Wang, at your service. I take it this is about tomorrow's operation? Yes, that's right. I have something I wish to discuss with you about it. Oh, huh. by all means. I'd like to avoid killing the Mount Young servants, if at all possible. I don't want to see them dead. I want to win them over to our side. I know this is a selfish request, but... The tactician exists to make their commanding officer's wishes come true. It'd be one thing if this were an impossible bearing a miracle. Uh, but I would be a poor excuse for a tactician if I refused a request that was perfectly possible. That being said, we will need a somewhat, uh... 
outlandish scheme now that we've come this far. Or perhaps it's more accurate to say we'll need to be reckless and foolhardy. Just so we're perfectly clear, you say you want to win the Mount Leong servants over to our side, and that you would prefer not to kill them if possible. That's right. Understood. And here's the plan. I'd like you all to... It's like, what? What were those noises you just did? All right, thanks for being patient, Master. Did you bring the others with you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I did. Hey, so what's this all about? You got an early morning tomorrow, you know? Master said he wanted to talk to us, Mole. I take it whatever this is about is urgent. Yes, it is. First, I need to tell you something. I've been in contact with Tagong Wong. Well, time for you to die then. Wait, at least hear me out first. Besides, if I betrayed you, why would I be telling you this? Do you see any signs of an item ambush here? No, because you don't, because there isn't one. I suppose you're right. Hmm. So does this mean Taigong Wong is betraying them? No, he would never do that either. I'll let you in on a secret, but first we need to do a little analysis. Yanqing, I called you here because you know all about Mount Liang. And Amakusa Shiro, I called you here because I need your help analyzing some magecraft. You are good at this sort of thing, right? Of course I am. So... Tell me more about this secret. To make a long story short, completing Mount Liang would be a huge disaster. Putting all logic and reason aside, doing so would trigger a magecraft ritual. Are you serious? Sounds similar to a Holy Grail War. Exactly. It's a type of ritual that sacrifices heroic spirits to let the caster do whatever they want. If Mount Liang were to succeed in gathering 108 outlaws, it would trigger a ritual that would provide magical energy to someone who is yet to reveal themselves. Now here's a question. What sort of person would this uh what sort of person would this hidden someone be? Well, whoever they are, they couldn't be up to anything good if they haven't shown up themselves by now. Hmm. What does Taigong Wong make of this? Oh, hey there. Things safe to say I'm one of the founders of Sage Arts, maybe. Anyway, I'm Taigong Wong. I originally came from the Kunlun Mountains, and I'm now I'm a tactician for the Imperial Army. I still can't quite believe you're here. Neither can I, but here I am. I suppose you never know what fate has in store. Certainly. I don't think anyone would take issue with your skills as one of the founders of Sage and Taoist Arts. All right, please, tell us what you think. Oh, very well. It's actually not just Sage Arts that are being used in this spell, but suffice to say, some things are readily apparent to me just by looking at them. For example, this mastermind's true nature. Whoever they are, they are either unwilling or unable to show themselves. Instead, they're trying to seize power through any cowardly means possible. That's not the sign of someone strong and confident. Whoever is doing this is certainly at the end of their rope. Well, we definitely can't let this ritual go on as planned, then. Oh, true, but that doesn't mean that interfering with Mount Liang's completion is a good idea, either. Huh? Why not? If you guys tell them the truth, then completing it would be a disaster, right? Yes, it would be. But if you avoid completing it because of that, then what would you do? Huh. You make a good point. Honestly, at this point, I don't think we could stop it anyway. Yeah, you're probably right. Also? Also? If we did, it'd make Ellie cry. Uh oh. <laughs> I'd certainly like to avoid that if at all possible. The simplest solution would be for all of you to abandon Mount Liang and kill all the servants who've gathered there, but... Yeah, no, I um, don't think we're doing that. I thought you might say that. Personally, I would never consider such a poor plan a viable strategy either, so then, what should we do? Fortunately, I've already made a commitment to Lady Huyan Zhou. She told me she doesn't want to kill any of Mount Liang's servants, if at all humanly possible. And Heli wants to make up with Huyan Zhou too. Oh, then our goals are aligned. In that case... Whoa, whoa. Slow down, Taigong Wong. Doesn't matter how much our goals are aligned. Those two aren't nearly mature enough to resolve their differences like grown-ups. Oh. You're absolutely right. Oh man, I can't think of a single counter-argument. Now what do we do? <laughs> Good point. I imagine it'd go something like this. Let's be friends. Yes, let's. So from both uh, now on, you're all my allies. We have to keep Mount Liang going. There's no way I'm joining the Imperial Army. 
And there's no way I'm aligning myself with bandits again. Deep breath. You're dead. I love voice mixing. The more we try to explain, the more complicated things would get. And it wouldn't make them any more likely to join the other side. When you get right down to it, words alone won't be of any help. They're gonna have to share how they both really feel with each other in another way. Oh, in other words, a duel, huh? I expect, I suspected as much. All right, then let's have them fight each other as much as they want and get it out of their systems. So what do we do to stop Mount Liang from being completed? Good question. Ideally, I'd hope you could all do something about that before morning. Lord Yan Ching, Lord Amakusa Shiro, Master Kaldia, can ask you to take care of that. Specifically, I'd like you to find all the traps that I'm sure have been placed around Mount Liang and dismantle them before morning arrives. Fun. Who needs sleep anyway? Well, we've been doing everything we can uh, to find them while the others are asleep, including slipping in and out of our spirit forms, but... Yes, I'm afraid it's hard to track them with magical energy since there are so many servants here. I was afraid of that. Well, damn, what do we do now? Where are we supposed to look? If only there was something else we could track. <gasps> I know! Elissa Particles! Elissa Particles? Oh yeah, that's the weird Elizabeth-only element we saw back during the old Mecha Ellie Chan incident, isn't it? That's it. We should be able to use those particles to track down the traps now. Um, let me see. The biggest reading I'm getting is from, well, Elissa the Nine Tattooed Dragon, of course. Though naturally, there's also a thin layer of Elissa particles covering just about all of Mount Liang. Hmm? What's this? Find something, Mash? Y yes, I did. I'm picking up a strong Elissa particle signal in the ground underneath Mount Liang. That certainly sounds suspicious. We'll go check it out right away. How can we get there? Right. First, need to leave the mountain, then. Is there a cave? We're gonna find a little cave? What are we doing? Secret cave. Oh no, marshland. Okay. Okay. Should be able. Oh, it is a cave. Should be able to get into a cave from there. When in doubt, mountain cave. Yep. Stop. What is it, Makusa? Is what we're looking for here? Unfortunately, I'm afraid there's nothing but traps here. Traps set by the mastermind? Indeed. Whoever they are, they must really want to keep whatever's hidden in here secret. There are trap spells from China, the Far East, the Middle East, even Western-style ones. Oh, damn. But on top of that, there are physical traps that don't rely on Magecraft here, too. We could dismantle them if we took our time, but time is the one thing we don't have right now. Let's see, we got seven hours till morning. And about eight if we count up until everyone is at breakfast. Master... Could I ask you a favor? I'd like you to lend me Hesse and Lobo. With their help, I should be able to get through these traps more quickly. I can try. I don't know if they'll agree. True, they are very proud. If they refuse, then I'll go in by myself. I'll just need you to buy me as much time as possible. In the meantime, I'll see what I can do. Yan Ching, would you go back with Master for now? I'll wait here until I receive word. Got it? We're counting on you, Amakusa. Can we just say, you'll get a big steak? Welcome, Wolf King. And you, Headless Horseman. Now, now, please don't growl at me like that. If you don't want to do this, you can leave whenever you like. I only want your help in detecting the traps. I'll take care of the rest. Oh, nice big old thumbs up. <laughs> Thank you. All right, let's go. We could be in for a long night. There's like no fan art of Hesse and Lobo. That's like one servant where like my friend was saying there's like no fan art of it. I'm like, there has to be. And I, so I looked it up and like, honestly, I went on like the pics of tag. I went on like all sorts of like burus and stuff. And it's like, wow, you do not have a fan base, which is a shame because they're a very unique servant. I think I think it's because it's, that's tough to draw the, the guy and the dog and everything like that's a lot. Yeah, I could see it being annoying. Alright. Pop this, auto-appoint. 
Is this everyone now? Are we at 108? Because I don't see any more boxes there. Right? We got lots of money. We got some materials. We got some grinding stuff. Yeah, that's all good. Okay. I was like, wait, I don't have them. And then right, right, right. They're there. Um, okay. Cool. This is uh, real neat for sure. I like it. Lots of different servants. It's, I, it's wild though. Like I have all these like high ranking five stars. Then every now and then you'll see like a silver and I'll be like, oh, which is that? Oh, right. It's not mine. Sure. Um, still working on that there. Okay. Well, let's continue here. How many dots do we got? Okay, two. Tiangang Disha. Humpst? I don't know who that is. Do we have more? Yeah, we'll get another one there. Section six, good. More grinding. I like it. Let's go. I don't know. I don't know who that is. There's a chance that the, the big twist is going to be like some, some big like big surprise you know like thing that people know and i'll be they'll be like it's the other uh, the villains tongue and i'll be like uh, okay who oh man i love billy hatcher good morning someone's in a good mood have always a good mood and besides today's gonna be the final battle i got so many things i want to tell who joe you come with me we know uh well we should eat breakfast first Good idea. Having a yummy meal together sounds great. Hey, who's cooking today? I am. You? Does that mean we're eating vegetarian? Uh, someone actually broke down all the servants that would be vegetarian, and it's an interesting mix for sure. Oh, thank goodness there's meat and fish too. <laughs> because I didn't make those dishes. I've got a pretty good handle on what you like by now, Alyssa. Yeah! Chicken tendies! It's like, no, nah, sure, that's what those are. Definitely, definitely not other stuff that we've been saying is chicken tendies. As long as I've got meat and fish, I don't need anything else. Let's eat! Oh, you're having some of my vegetarian cuisine too, Master? So, like, actually, I'm gonna be real, like, vegetarian cuisine could be, can be really good. I think the problem is, there's some levels of vegetarian which are just entirely antithetical to flavor. And, you know, there's even, like, there's people that are on the side of, like, if you make a vegetarian dish that emulates meat flavors, it itself is still, like, too close to being meat and therefore still morally bad. And it's like, man, I'm sorry, you guys just need to eat good food. Like, it just comes down to that. But, uh, but yeah, I've been eating a lot of meat lately, so... Good point. It is good to have, like, yo, good veggies? Good veggies are good, man. There's so much you can do with vegetables. Yo, I just got a daikon radish and cut it up into a stir fry. It was so good. You know, I think I'll go vegetarian today, too. What the matter, Yanting? Something wrong? Me? Oh, don't worry. I'm fine, Ellie. How's uh, Shiro and Lobo doing? Oh, they definitely went off to dismantle those traps. But I've got no idea when they'll be done. Cuckoo, would you mind if I joined you, Master? Of course not. I just heard from Taigong Wang. He said Hu Zhou is raring to go. And it sounds like the other Master will be accompanying her to the duel. <laughs> Whatever happens, it certainly won't be dull. So I'm going to be facing off against myself. Now it just all comes down to whether Ellie or Hu Zhou can reach an understanding. Hopefully they can, but uh, who knows? We still don't know much about who is ever behind all this, but I have a feeling those two will be okay. Assuming they can both be honest about their feelings, at least. Hey, what are you guys whispering about? Get over here, Weedo! I want to eat together! Of course. So it's finally time for the definitive battle, huh? And we're up against Ching Liang Yu, Huang Fei Hu, Ta Gong Wang, and Hu Yang Zhou. They may have gotten the better of us yesterday, but today will be a different story. Yeah, you said it. I'll drink to that. As will I. Nothing like a stiff drink for breakfast. I could get used to this. 
That's enough degeneracy for you, sir. I'll be taking that. <laughs> now, now, this wouldn't be Mount Liang if we didn't have drinks boosting our spirits. Uh, excuse me, Lady Sancho, but could I trouble you for some wine as well? That's fine with me. Do you have a particular brand in mind? Yeah, there's one from 2001 my buddy Napoleon drinks all the time. It's called... Hello, Lord Napoleon of Caldia. Could you tell me what your favorite wine is? I'm sorry, I lied. I'll just have regular rum, please. Okay, wait. 2001 Na Napoleon... Wait, what? Is there a joke here? 2000... Okay. 2001 Napoleon wine? What's the joke? Is it like a 2001 Nicholas Napoleon Bordeaux Superior? I don't know. This might just be an extremely specific wine fan joke. I don't drink wine, so I don't know. I'm sorry, I lied. I'll just have the regular rub, please. Here we go. Here you go. Man, that was close. Guess I gotta be more careful about bluffing. That's good. Tastes like home. Where's home? An island in the Caribbean. Indeed. The wine is as delicious as ever today. Even if we should lose, it provides us with the strength to stand up once more. It is almost as if it is... As if it is... I think I shall have another cup. Guess he couldn't think of a good metaphor. I cook a lot of things, but my repertoire of bar snacks has definitely increased since we came here. Not only are those snacks enough to satisfy you on their own, but they make the booze taste even better. Yo, have you tried bacon-wrapped persimmons? Almost makes me wonder if they're cursed or something. Oh crap, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say that your cooking is cursed or anything. <laughs> I know that. Still, I can't help but wonder what we're gonna do. About what? Once we're done with breakfast, we're going back to war. I just don't know how it's all gonna go down. <laughs> that hardly sounds like the sort of thing a notorious outlaw and rebel like yourself would say, Robin Hood. What do you mean? You could have run from the ones oppressing us. We could have kept our heads low and avoided making trouble. But we didn't do that. Not even when we knew we were risking life and limb. Or when we knew for certain that our actions would lead to our deaths. So in response to your question, I can only say this. We'll just have to do the best we can, no? Yeah. Guess you're right. Damn. Never thought I'd get lectured by a queen of all people. Well... I may have been a queen, but my army still lost our war. In that sense, you and I are not so different. Still, since I have lost before, I would much prefer to win this time. Would you like a drink? I would. Mm. This wine is truly ex excellent. Mm. It's like alcohol is all the grown-ups care about. Yeah, it's not fair. Although, maybe we could get away with having some wine? Absolutely not. Children don't need alcohol. They can journey to the world of dreams whenever they like. If you've reached a point where you can't go to that world without drinking, then that means you've completely... Gr oh, that's really sad. But also very true. Is that how it works? That's how it works. That's... Yeah. No, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Glug, 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 glug. Ha, way up a foot. Alcohol, but that was still yummy. Want some? Maybe the fact that you naturally gravitate towards alcohol means you're not actually a child on the inside. Don't give them an inch. Well, of course, you're also a servant, so... It's okay. Drinking alcohol is supposed to be fun. And it make you sad if I drink it. Why, Borka? Then I don't need it. Okay, Wida, let's go. Okay, let's go settle things with Huyan Joe. Yeah, I'll do the best I can. After all... It's our destiny to be under the stars. Under our stars. It's day. We're fighting in the day. Again. Um. You're awesome. You're wonderful. You're beautiful. You're badass. Thank you, Master. I think you keep going a little longer now. Are we... What, what are we doing? What are we doing right now? You know, this is kind of addictive. Can I get a little more? Time to get going. General Huyan Zhou. <gasps> what is it, General Ching Yu? 
It's okay, I'm used to eccentricities by now. Eccentricities? You think I'm eccentric? Never mind that now. We have an emergency. We do? Something that's more important than my dignity? General Huang Fei Hu has gone missing. All he left was a note. Oh. Ah! Yeah, that's, that's not good. Oh, don't worry. General Huang Fei Hu told me he would be leaving ahead of time. Then why didn't you say so sooner? Perhaps I should have. But I was worried that Huang Fei Hu's absence would have an adverse effect on your mental health. You thought it'd be better if I found out after the fact instead? Why would a difference in time make things better? I suppose you have a point. You could at least pretend to disagree. Oh, gods, just knowing he's not in tears giving me palpitations. I'm having trouble breathing, too. Up, oh, now I'm feeling nauseous, sick to my stomach, and dizzy, too. This is even worse than I thought. You're basically going through withdrawal. But I won't deny that this, this is a very reassuring presence. So where did he go? Is he coming back? I'm afraid I'm not entirely sure. He went to go visit the innermost depths of Mount Liang. I have no idea what he might find there. I have no idea what they're doing. Are they just like breaking traps? Like what? What are we? What are we doing? Just a room full of mines? Is that just like a gosh dang mystery dungeon level? Like an end game one? That should take care of this floor. But this is all taking longer than I'd like. We won't make it unless we hurry. Ah, oh, you're right. You can speak animal? Cool. This could be very dangerous, but I'm afraid we have no choice. We'll just have to charge in. What if you had some help? Wang Fei Hu. Our tactician, Lord Tai Gong Wang, asked me to come here and help you. So he had his eye on this place too, huh? I should have known. Uh, indeed. As for Hu Yan Zhou and the Nine Tattooed Dragon, we'll just have to depend on our respective masters to help them. Alright, let's make a run for it. Understood. Hessian? Lobo, please come with us. Okay, are they just... Are they just doing crazy, like... <laughs> crazy stuff? What are we doing? Okay. Uh, sure. What are we fighting? What are we... Is it just gonna be, like, defense things? What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? Come on. Come on. I'm only saying that because I want to get this done because I'm kind of hungry, actually. <laughs> yeah, it's defense units. I knew it. Whoa, thanks, Alyssa Particles. Real cool. That's a lot of HP, actually. Um, Let's not use that. We will use that. Right? Because if, if we do this right... Uh, actually, you know what? Let's use this here. Let's get a bunch of... Let's get some meter here. And let's do let's do the big bang attack. Let's see, this should be enough after this. Nice, good. Okay. Speed jamma, speed jamma. Okay. Let's go increase buster effectiveness, yes. Okay. Uh do you have anything for the party? For yourself? For yourself, for yourself, for one enemy, yourself, yourself, for yourself. Okay, cool. Let's go one, two. Actually, let's maybe. Nah, we'll just use that. Just, just get it out of the way. Use it now. Yeah. Try and get him going. That was about half their HP. Very nice. Kind of a waste here, but it's fine. We got big family meter. Okay. Uh, let's go. Honestly, let's just get more noble phantasms. Right, just get more of that. That'll be helpful. Okay. Okay. Hit Lobo again. Hit Lobo again. No, that's fine. 
All right, let's go attack up. Let's go. We want to probably crit strength, so pop that. Pop that. Right, and let's go. Go one, two, three. All right, that should honestly do enough here. Kill you, move on to the other guy, probably kill him. Let's see. And crit? Yeah, we did it. Nice. I can absolutely see it just that they made um made Huyun Zhou an assassin just because they didn't want two riders, even though they really should both be riders. I I can see I can see exactly why for for balance they switched it off, you know? I mean I get it, it's kind of assassin y the moveset there, but I mean like you'll literally fight with horses. Then again, that doesn't mean anything. Just different servants have totally different things. What are we doing? Oh, okay. The battle you fight makes a, a, a choices. Okay. Okay. Is it are we picking a side? Because if so, that might be fun. Because then we could be we could be Hu and Joe and just destroy Alyssa, you know? Excellent. Let's keep moving. Is it just me? Or do the three of us have some of the worst possible chemistry? Yeah, I wouldn't say you three would ever make a good team together. Time and time... Oh, oh no, I need to be the Soul Calibur narrator for this. Time and time again, these two had crossed swords. Each had strong issues with the other, but neither held any hate. In the end, perhaps this was more of a sisterly argument than anything else. Each side had a deeply held wish and principles they were unwilling to compromise on. Such was the driving force to turn this sisterly argument into the du into a duel to the death. Round one, fight! Huyenzo! I listed the nine tattooed dragon. Hi, I guess. Oh. Same to you. Oh, whoa, we see ourselves. Looks like things between the two masters are pretty damn awkward. Where is Lord Huang Fei Hu? I do not see him anywhere. Oh, just uh, come up with some kind of excuse. He's taking a dump. <laughs> He's taking a dump? That's the best excuse you could come up with? For that matter, I'm fairly sure servants don't need to relieve themselves. No, wait. Maybe she has a deeper plan in mind. Nope. She's obviously losing it. <laughs> well, this isn't good. She completely froze up after realizing the ridiculousness of what she just said. That I guess he won't be coming for a while. Fine with me. True. Whatever the reason, his absence is definitely a disadvantage for us. However, our spirits remain high and our number still vastly greater than yours. I can sense how desperately she's trying to get things back on track. I bet. After all... Oh, you're plastered! We're so drunk, it looks like there's two of you, Ching Yang Yu. Just how much alcohol did you drink before setting out for the battlefield? <laughs> A lot. Indeed, we did. I can't believe you. This is exactly what I hate about bandits. Bandits? That is uncalled for. Yes, I may call Mount Liang home for now, but I consider myself no more than a bodyguard. That's your story and you're sticking to it, huh? <laughs> a bodyguard to outlaws drowning their sorrows in drink. Perhaps this is how Mitsuyoshi felt. I must say, a job has its charms. You hear that, everyone? Most of the enemy is too drunk to see straight. Our victory is all but assured now. I'll deal with the list of the nine tattooed dragon. Now let's do this. Bring it on! Are you ready, Master? All set here. I'm counting on you, you need leader. Got it. I am Huyun Zhou. My heaven-sent star of destiny is the Prestige Star. No matter what manner of foul names I must bear, on behalf of the Imperial Army, I will not leave without destroying Mount Liang. I'm Elisa the Nine Tattooed Dragon. My heaven-sent star of destiny is the Minute Star. Mount Liang is my home now. I'm going to protect it no matter what. Let's do this! 
Uh, sorry, you're giving me the option to beat up a child? Of course I'm gonna take it. Like, what do you take me for? Yeah, let's do this. Free booty on right there. Very nice. I'll take it. Yeah, like, <sighs> what, what do you expect? Plus, I mean, type matchups, right? All right, let's see here. Oh, this is weird to see, for sure. Brilliant Escort. My name. Star of Destiny is the minute one. HP Recovery. Prestige. Quick up C-Star. C-Star. Nice. Okay. So, let's start with this, for sure. Right? Um, C-Star Gather Rate. Attack up. Let's just get attack up going. She doesn't have any invincible, I'm guessing. I'm going to hold off on Evade for Noble Phantasms. Right? That just makes sense. 50... 10, 40, let's go. Those crits are good. You just gotta make sure we hit them. Okay. Okay, charge gain, max HP up. Yeah, we do have the resist, which is good. Okay. Alright. Uh, that's fine. Let's go. Yeah, look at these numbers. Dang, okay. Yeah. Big numbers, let's go. Oh, we got this. Bruh, we got this. Like, this is ridiculous. Super easy. Sh wait, I was gonna say shoot, but no, we still have it on, actually. One more turn. We're fine. Noble Phantasm strength up. And crit damage up. And we don't need meter. One. Two. Three. We win. We got this. I love how it just destroys the game as soon as you hit. We did it. Easy peasy. Yeah, that's 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 the easier side. Oh, you are just yapping. That's not who we were, but that's fine. Uh, I I won. <laughs> I'm not giving up. I'm what about the egg stars of destiny? I have to win. I have to. Ellie. You lost. Accept it. Accept it and surrender to us. To me. Please. No way. Never in a billion years. You stubborn little... Now take it easy, Huyan Zhou. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have yelled at you. But I do need you to listen to me carefully. You remember what became of Mount Liang? Huh? Right. Even if you know it, it makes sense that it wouldn't feel real. Or maybe you've just been averting your eyes from the truth. The Imperial Court ordered those of us at Mount Liang to put down Fang La's rebellion. And all 108 of us were killed or forced to flee. You were no exception, Shi Jin. Even as the minute star with mastery of all manner of martial arts, you still fell to the enemy's arrows. What, that... That was just my destiny. Everyone dies at some point. So it's sad. I mean, I mean that she did die, but you died for nothing. You weren't all the cream of the crop. Some of us were useless or mean or disagreeable or outright villains. This is a new song. It's just a brand new song. Okay. Even so, we still came together under Lord Song Jian's words and our destined stars to fight for our country. We fought against the thieves and bandits tormenting ordinary people for so long, and in the end we had nothing to show for it. All that was left of us were empty husks. We were thrown away as soon as we were no longer useful. Yang Ching, you remember, right? Of course you do. There's no way you could have forgotten. You and I 
are some of the few that survived. Yeah, I remember well. I... Whoa. Oh my god, are we actually getting art? Wow, okay. Big money in this event, I guess. Mount Liang is no sanctuary. Just the place where our dreams died. I can't even recall the name of whoever said this, but I remember one of the thieves proudly saying, Here, even a scoundrel like me can be of use to someone. He said that right before he died, he sacrificed himself so that I could live on. Oh my god. How can I possibly face him? How can I face anyone from Mount Liang? I can't. Oh my god, they're just crying together. In an instant, the chaos of battle had come to a halt. Everyone on both sides had lowered their weapons. The only sound that could be heard throughout the battlefield was that of the two rivals weeping. Oh, Ellie. Huh? Are you gonna give up on Mount Liang? I... I don't wanna... Please, I'm begging you. Please reconsider. You have to give up on it. I... I both see Jin and not see Jin. I don't remember everything clearly. But I do remember that the mountain was a really fun place. No one could touch us there. They were both good and bad there. Here. They were... They were let me try that again. They were both the good and the bad here. But everyone was inspired to do the best we could. But that's... This type things are going to be different. I'm not going to make the same mistakes I made before. No way. I swear it on the nine tattooed dragon and my own name, Elizabeth Battery. This time, I'm going to get Mount Wang white. Because that's what she did wanted. Please help me, Huyan Zhou. I'm still really young, and she just not too smart. Some of us are drunkards. Some of us are idiots. Some of us are fools who only care about improving our fighting skills. Even you, Weeder, I love you a whole lot, but you keep making kind of weird sexual jokes about the female servants, and it's getting kind of annoying, and it distracts from the videos, and it's, it, it gets in the way of riveting commentary that you could be making instead. I think you need to calm down a bit and put yourself into the shoes of someone who's watching. Okay. Also, you can be pretty wet with sometimes. Ellie! She's not wrong. But even so, I still swear that I'm never going to let anything like that happen to any one of them again. I'll protect my way out, even if it costs me my wife. So please, Huyan Zhou, please. Hey, Huyan Zhou, did you not like it at Mount Liang? I... Did I like it? Did I enjoy those days where I was frequently drunk? <laughs> Would you spar with me, Lord Huyan Zhou? Lord Huyan Zhou, I heard some government officials are causing trouble in the neighboring province. Let's go find him and teach him a lesson. Captain Huyan Zhou, Lord Song Jian wants to see you. Looks like there's going to be another war. I can't wait. Hey, you want to go grab a drink? Right, that's right. I did like it there. I enjoyed myself immensely. When all 108 of us were united, our destiny was set in stone. We would help good people, punish bad ones, and do everything we could to serve our country. And then, everything was stained with blood as our lives came to a violent end. I once had a dream. A dream about the... About the, uh... Luotian Daijiao Festival. The day where Mount Liang shone brighter than ever before. Incense wafted throughout the festival grounds and countless flowers decorating the walls. Candles flickered with a fantastical gleam and elaborately dressed Taoist priests offered up prayers in orderly fashion. And there, solemnly overseeing everything, were the outlaws of the mountain. But now, there's no one there. Not Lord Song Jiang, or Lord Wu Yong, or any of the five tiger generals. There are no outlaws there at all. Yan Qing, Xi Jin, my own subordinates, all gone. 
I've been roaming the deserted mountain ever since. I've been unable to... Uh, ne whoop. I've never been able to leave. This place used to be a paradise. Now it's barren, desolate. A beautiful, empty, maliceless nightmare. I've been lost in all this time. Yes. It was fun there. That's why I don't want to take it back. As I am now, I couldn't bear it if that paradise were to be broken again. That's why you recreated the Imperial Army and tried to destroy Mount Liang's forces yourself. Lady Huyan Zhou, who's this? Oh. Xi Jin? Huh? Ellie? No, you're Xi Jin, the Nine Tattooed Dragon, the Minute Star. I had a feeling you were around. You've been protecting Ellie all this time. Dragon with a face and eyes. Pretty cool, right? <laughs> Who would have thought I'd get to be an actual dragon one day? Uh, yeah, definitely an actual dragon. Shi Jin. What, sa what you said is true. I had my regrets, too. I died during Fang La's rebellion. They ambushed me in a place where I couldn't do anything and shot me with arrows. That's was when my dream died. But even so, if I hadn't been at Mount Liang, I would have ended up my life as another scumbag. I still would have been pissed off at the officials taking bribes, but I would never have done anything about them. I think it would have been, I would have had a lot more regrets that way. So even if I could go back and, go and do it all over again, I wouldn't change a thing. I can't believe it. You were murdered in cold blood and still haven't learned your lesson? Of course not. I wouldn't have been an outlaw if I'd had the brains for anything else. Yeah. Well, Liang wouldn't have been the wonderful place it was if it hadn't been full of fools like you. So no matter how foolish you all are, you still wanted to do good and help others. Uh, okay, talking in this form is more tired than I thought. You take it from here, Elizabeth. And bro goes back to being a stick. Liang Zhou, do you like Mount Liang as it is now? Yeah, Lido and I have been working real hard. I see. That's great. All units halt. I think they already have. I think we're already at a standstill. They've been halting for a while now. Oh man, I thought I was saying something really cool, but I didn't realize the fighting had already stopped. Yeah, I'm not really sure where we go from here. Enlist of the Nine Tattooed Dragon. I won't stop you anymore. I wish you the best of luck in rebuilding Mount Liang as it was meant to. What about you? What are you going to do now? Would you join us? I don't know for how I could show my face there. Now there's anything wrong with my face, if I do say so myself. It's actually quite pretty. Hey, my face is really well cute, too. My face is nothing to write home about. Oh, don't even start. <laughs> Sorry. I've never been to think of myself as good looking. Yeah, the internet disagrees, buddy. I don't mind if others think so, but... Well, never mind that now. Getting things back on track. You should definitely join us, Huyang Joe. I... I don't think I could... Why not? I was planning on joining Mount Liang once this battle is over. You were? I'm not thrilled about this, but if Mount Liang is truly home to people who only want to help, then I'm willing to join as well. Don't you worry, my lady. We're all about justice and doing what's right. Stealing? Bad. Pillaging? Bad. Murder? Bad. Pirates? The worst. And how do you really feel? Pirate life forever! I actually heard Ching Liang use trust in you dropping like a rock. Oh, that's what that was. You did. You definitely did. <laughs> Out of all 108 stars, I expect to rise no higher than the 108th. And on that note, this is awkward as hell, so I'm getting out of here. Now, now, Ching Liang, you was it? I promise you can trust us. As for Blackbeard, well, he has his redeeming moments, but overall, he is still chaotic evil. Was that your idea of helping me? But even he is a living creature, though I would never consider him a friend. Bro, oh, am I being quartered? Is that what's happening here? Am I Wong Loon? I am, aren't I? Don't worry, Lord Blackbeard. You may be an irredeemable pirate, but I also know there are things that only you can do because of that. Besides, we bearded fellows need to stick together. Right. B bearded fellows, huh? Well, at least we can all agree I'm more handsome than you, right? I'm casting 107 votes for my lord. No fair! Mm -hmm. Oh, does that mean you've come around on us? Yes, I suppose I have. If people like Don Quixote and Sancho can smile like that here, then there should be no problem. I'm willing to surrender. Well, you two are okay with this, then I... Oh, come on already! 
It make us so, make me so happy if you join us, Huya Joe. Would it make you happy too? Well? Of course it would. I love Mount Leong too. Then it's settled. White leader? Hold out hand. Thank you. Glad to be here. Who? Huh? Who? What? Debuffs? What is this? Huh? It wasn't me. I promise I didn't do it. What's happening? That's right. I just remembered it's their fault I ended up like this. Elizabeth, get ready. Huh? She did? Our enemy. Maliang's true enemy is here. The four corrupt officials slash the six traitors. Who? Uh, it's a water margin. It's probably... It's probably a combination of characters from Water Margin and Investiture of the Gods, I bet. Probably. Probably. Well, we'll find that out next time, then. We got more stars? We do. Good. Good, good, good. And that looks like that's the finale there. It's good there. Auto a point, auto a point. Nice. Okay, so just more slots to, to level up for each of them. Good. Nice. I'm not counting that. That looks like 108. Sure. So, let's see here. We have the this one here. Hello, ma'am. Can't look at you. Darn it. I want to see that, though. So we got to do more of those, which I can do off camera. We got that to beat the mission and then probably just the final little battle there, which is good there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Epilogues there have two. Nice. Cool. All right. I will see you guys next time for probably, honestly, the finale of this event. Um, I can definitely see it just ending up here. So we will see you guys for that, for the end of the 108 Outlaws event, guys. We'll see you then. Ciao. Yo. Yeah.